YouTube. This is Real Life Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the Intex Auto Pool Cleaner. Let's revisit it. This is the second product over the last few months that I have revisited and basically it's to go back and cover some of the comments that I got from the first video. The first time I reviewed this product I was pretty new at YouTube and the video is low quality, doesn't answer a whole lot of questions and today we're just going to be covering some of the questions I didn't answer. Right off the bat Intex calls this an auto pool cleaner. It's just a glorified term for vacuum. There's nothing automatic about it. There's no batteries or timers or anything like that. The only way it's automatic is that if you leave it plugged up to your discharge line and your pump is on a timer. So it will work. It will become automatic that way, but normally people don't leave their vacuums in their pool 24 hours a day. Sometimes you'd like to swim without it. In the above ground vinyl pool world, there are two types of vacuums. One that uses suction and one that uses the discharge. So the suction port, clear and simple, it sucks all the debris directly to your filter. Once you get your pool cleaned up that way, then you have to go and backwash, rinse, filter, and it's just not a good idea. You're wasting a ton of water if you suck directly to waste. Now there's a lot of people out there that do it, and it's not too uncommon. So if that's what you have, and I have a Miller Triangular Suction Vacuum that I've reviewed before, and it is another option. I just don't like wasting that much water. You're sucking water out directly to waste. The other type of vacuum is this type. It's the type that uses the discharge on your pool. Let me explain. So in the vinyl pool world, there's generally two B ports, which are your suction that go directly to your leaf basket, and one A port, which is the cleaned water, the discharge, that comes back into your pool. Once you suck water into your filter, this is the cleaned water that returns, and that's how this vacuum gets its pressure. Now the manufacturer Intex does recommend that you have at least 1,600 gallons an hour in order to operate it. I would agree with that. I would also say that you probably need to have somewhere close to around 2,000 gallons. It's really up to you. It's your preference how fast you want your pool to get clean and how thorough you want it to be. If you're still operating off of that original pump that came with these types of pools, then you're probably not going to have very good success with this vacuum cleaner. Now there's two ways that you can hook it up to your discharge line. These pools come with a little strainer. There's a little Phillips head screw that holds a two-piece strainer together. Take the strainer, unscrew it. That's an adapter piece that you can put right inside of your outlet and then hook that up to the adapter on your vacuum. You can go over directly to the outlet, unscrew the outer piece, and then that screws directly into the adapter that comes with the pool hose. So the pool hose is 24 and a half feet long. It does come with several pieces of hose, A, B, and C, and they add up to a sum of about 20, 24 and a half feet long. It's perfectly fine for me. I have an 18 foot diameter pool, and I know it works also on 22 foot diameter pools as well. If you're gonna be operating this vacuum cleaner while you're out of the pool, I do recommend you pulling the ladder out because it needs to be able to get around it and getting caught up in the ladder is not gonna hurt the device, but it'll just cause it to get tangled up and you will have not ran your vacuum for however long. It cleans out real simple. There's only four clips on the bottom. Once you release the clips, you open it up and there's a little screen, there's a gasket, and there's a cavity. You take the screen off, you wipe the screen off or wash it off, and then you clean the cavity out, make sure the gasket's sealed, put the screen back on, put the lid back out, and I mean, you can clean this vacuum out in uh, 30 seconds. Very, very simple, and you didn't waste hundreds of gallons of water doing it. You're recycling the water. The way this vacuum works is that it uses your discharge water for pressurization. It either propels it forward or propels it in reverse. It's creating suction underneath it. So let me be a little critical here before we wrap up this review and explain that there are two, maybe three, uh, reviewers out there in YouTube land that complain about this vacuum is not picking up the sand that's in their pool. This vacuum picks up that number 20 silica sand, the sand that you should be using in your sand filter for above ground pools. It's always picked it up. And number two, it should not be a reoccurring problem. Uh, losing a little sand at the initial startup for your swimming season is normal. Everybody's going to have a little bit of sand in the bottom of their pool and the vacuum takes care of that just fine. But if you're constantly having to clean sand out of your pool, you don't have a vacuum problem. You have a filter problem. 
and you need to figure that out. In closing, I've had this vacuum now for a couple of seasons. It does the job. It picks up oak leaves. It picks up large debris in very small particulates. And you do want to keep that organic material picked up because if you don't, it only takes a handful of leaves in order to change the entire pH in your pool and that will throw your levels off whether you have you know your alkalinity levels and things like that so you want to keep organic material out of your pool and this is certainly a way you can do it i hope that this revisiting helped answer some of those questions that i got in the earlier comments from a previous posting i do appreciate you stopping by the channel and if you like things like real life reviews cooks and diys things of that nature i would encourage you to go ahead and subscribe and click the bell for my weekly content until next week let me say one thing let me say one thing real quick I know that uh, I know that our nation is struggling right now seems like there's a lot of things that are going on but if I if I had a platform to say anything at all I would say this to you whoever sees this don't lose faith in humanity and don't be the cause of someone else to lose faith in humanity until next week, be well. This is Real Life Reviews.